Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a calendar page animation like this one right here very easily using a late motion application. So without any further ado, let's get started. Open the Elite motion application and create a new project with 16 is to 9 frame size ratio. Click on add icon and add a rounded rectangle shape. Now click on color and fill and change its color to white. To adjust the rectangle size, click on edit shape and adjust its x and y axis values as shown here. And then increase the radius value to make the edges rounded. And here I would like to extend the layer duration to 10 seconds. Now we need to make a copy of the rectangle layer and then change its color to red. And then click on edit shape and change the y axis value to something near 125. Now with the move tool selected, position it over the top as shown here. Now click on text and type whatever month you want. Now choose the font size and color for the text according to your choice. With the move tool, position it over the red rectangle. Extend it till the end. And then make a copy of the text layer. Click on edit and re-edit the text to 1. And now choose black color for this text and then position it right at the center of the white rectangle layer as shown here. Here I would like to rename this text layer name to 1. If you want you can choose some other font as well. Click on the add icon and add this spiral ring PNG which link will be available in the description. Minimize its size and position it over the top. And now add a circle layer and change its color to black. Click on blending and opacity and minimize its opacity for a moment. Now with the scale tool, minimize its size. And with the move tool, position it properly over the spiral circle. Make sure you position perfectly on it. Once you are done, now you can increase its opacity to its fullest. Now we need to add the repeat effect to the circle layer. Now here, increase the offset x value and make sure the circles are properly positioned on the spiral holes in the background. Now increase the count value to 20 because the holes in the background are 20. If the circles are not properly aligned, try to align them with the help of the move tool. But even if they are not properly aligned, go to the repeat effect and try changing the offset x value until it gets perfectly aligned. Here 28.6 is perfectly fit for this. Yeah we are done here. Drag the circle layer and position it below the spiral PNG layer. Now select all the layers except the spiral PNG layer and group them. Now make a copy of the group layer and name it group2. Make 3 more copies. If you want you can go on. Now we need to arrange all the group layers in ascending order as shown here. Now select the group 2 layer and click on edit group and then select this number text layer. Click on edit text and rename the value to 2. In the same way, change the numbers in all the group layers to 3, 4 and 5. So yeah, here they are. 
Now select the group one layer and click on FX. Click on add effect and let's add the page curl effect. Come to the 15th frame on the timeline and add a beatmark over there by clicking on this duration bar. Now we need to change the progress value to 0% and add a keyframe over there and then come to 1 second 15th frame and change the progress value to 125%. So this is the animation that we have got as of now. By tweaking this radius value, you can adjust the page curl position according to your choice. I let it to be 0.312. And you can also adjust the angle of the page curl according to your choice. Here I have positioned it on 60 degrees. Now click on the three dots icon and copy the effect. This is the paper curl animation that we have got. But here if you notice the spiral rings PNG is overlapping on the page. To get rid of that, come one frame before that overlap and split the spiral PNG layer. Now drag this remaining part and position it below the group 1 layer just like this. Now if you see the spiral PNG is overlapping no more. Now select the group 2 layer. And let's paste the curl effect settings on it. Offset the group 2 layer right at the third second frame. Now, with the group 2 layer selected, come to the beginning of the frame and then click on this icon to extend the layer till the beginning and then click on edit group. And here, select all the layers and extend all the layers to the beginning here as well. Now, if you play and see, after the page 1, we got page 2. But the overlapping problem occurs here as well. So we gotta repeat the same process that we have done before. Come one frame before that overlap and split the spiral PNG layer. And then position this remaining part beneath the group 2 layer. In this way you need to paste the page curl effect on every group layer. Now select the group 3 layer and paste the page curl effect settings. Offset the group 3 layer at the 6 second frame. With the group 3 layer selected, come to the beginning and then click on this extend icon. Now click on edit group, select all the layers and extend these layers as well. Now split the spiral PNG layer and position the remaining part below the group 3 layer. Paste the page color effect on group 4 layer as well and offset the layer position at the 9th second frame. Extend this spiral PNG layer till the 13th second and also extend this group 5 layer as well. Split the spiral PNG layer and position it below the group 4 layer. Now we need to remove all these extra parts. Now if you see I did some mistake here, hence it resulted page 5 after page 3. That's only because we haven't extended this group 4 layer till the beginning. And then click on edit group and extend these layers as well. Now if you see we got it perfectly alright.